It's faster, obviously. It's easier to do the work that's in there. And um, we have more time to talk even about a match or something that's going on in the pit. What usually would feel like 12 o'clock suddenly turned into be half 10. That's actually what happened, like to know, yeah. You know fairly quickly when you look at a cow whether she's happy or not, and I see her coming, I see cows coming to that parlour behind me there, like they are very, very relaxed. That transpires in into good cell counts and good TBCs and probably more meat maybe at the end of the day as well, like you know. They walked through the first evening and it was no problem at all. Slightly nervous, but you'd expect that for the first time with the change and all that, like you know. But like um we progressed on a week after that to the first milking and halfway through the first milking, I just knew we had made the right decision. I knew that it could only get better, like you know, it went so well. We installed a Dairy Master 16 unit um, Swift Flow Bailing Parlour and we are delighted with it. We also installed a drafter um, for drafting out cows. We also put in a backing gate as well, which is very, very handy because we had a square collecting yard and it's, it's great for training in new heifers or anything. When the time comes, it kind of squeezes up the yard and brings them up near to where they should be going when we need it, like, you know. And we kind of future proof that, that we put in commander boxes that we can add the last 20% of voice control ring if we need to do that on the road. I think the screen is easy work, the buttons are good and big. It's a great yoke, you've one for every cow, it tells you the yield, you can keep an eye on it. In regards to feeding, another nice feature of it as well is if a cow is in a parlour and she's last in and the last round that's half a round and she's a little bit unsettled or maybe some cow that's generally maybe a little bit unsettled, you add one touch of a button in the commander box, you can give her an extra bit of meal and she'd settle so straight away, like we see a big difference with that between the, the old and the new as well. Yeah. But when we were doing the building, we left space for four more extra units, which is very easy to install without touching any of the building. Like, you know, when we were in there, we said we'd do that much. We put in um, the Swift Flow bailing. We put in a diversion line. We also installed ACRs. It's massive, the change, you know, because we were coming from an old parlour, we hadn't much technology in it or anything. We were kind of worried going into the parlour here because I found here my father and uncle and when they were in the parlour as well. I was afraid of buttons and switches that they wouldn't, but um, Jeannie, within three or four days, they were, they were flying it. They were as good as any young whiz kid in it. Uh, the old parlour, I suppose, at roughly in around two hours, maybe two hours, ten minutes to get finished. Since we moved in here, I suppose, it's, it, that's down to an hour and a quarter. And it's not alone the time. You know, a lot of people speak about the time you spend in a milking parlour. Parlours really doing everything for you. You're just basically changing clusters in there, like, you know. In the new parlour, um, we're now looking forward to the evening milking after the morning milking, and weekends don't seem to be as bad, or Sunday morning was always a bad morning to get someone to milk, like, but um, bodies got easier to find them now since this dairy master went in behind us, like, you know.